outtalk.co.uk where you can get your thoughts, opinions and basically argue with other Wednesday fans about Wednesday. Hi guys and welcome to the Blackburn Rovers Sheffield Wednesday review. Now, this will be an interesting game for us. Uh, they have been on some great form of late and I mean really good form. Uh, they'd only really lost one at home recently and that was against Sheffield United. Now, we need to get the win but that game on Tuesday night just papered over some of the cracks. We had got some problems on the pitch, but at the same time, we just need to support the boys. At the end of the day, as fans, there's nothing we can do except support. It's the manager's job and the player's job to go out there and perform, and they did that to a point on Tuesday night, and hopefully we can push on from that and get the win today. Now, the team news is Dawson, Palmer, Pelopusi, Fletcher, Bannon, Thornley, Lees, Zhao, Matthias, Reach, Hector. Subs are Wildmith, Bot, Poodle, Onoma, Penny, Newhue and Forthieri. Now, good to have Fletcher back. Uh, he did go off injured in that Tuesday game and they assessed him on Friday. He's obviously seen that he's gone through that fine. Forthieri being on the bench, a lot of people are getting a bit pissed off about that and a bit nudgy. Uh, at the end of the day, I think we're trying to ease him back gently, not let him come back too fast. But at the same time, if you don't have, you either start Forthieri and he plays really well and then he goes off at a period of time, then who do you bring on as your, like, kind of, to spark the game into life? Or you have him on the bench and then when we're starting to flag a little bit, you bring him on when they're looking tired and go for the kill that way. It's a cat 22. You can do either or. I'd love to see him start, but at the same time, I understand that he's a good player to bring on when the game running down and maybe we might need him to come on and just tire out the defence a bit. Because he did that on Tuesday night. He came on at half time and did so well. So hopefully we can get all three points today, but it's going to be a tough game. A word to sum us up would be dreadful. We are absolutely dreadful. From word go, they have been all over us. A uh, much better team. We've offered nothing that half, really. Little bit of getting forward, but any time we have been forward, we've been either offside or we've fouled our man. We were dreadful that half. Great save by Dawson before the goal. It was a fantastic save. Tom Lee should have done a hell of a lot better. Um, it's same old, same old for Wednesday. It really is. You don't know a where a goal coming from because we look that poor up front. We look shambles at the back at times, and it's just really, really getting annoying that we have the game where we don't seem to look the team that we know we can be. And it'll be interesting to see what happens in the second half. Is he going to do what I think? I I said he would do, we bring him forth the area on, give us a bit of a attack going forward, try and get some momentum <laughs> that way. <coughs> but no shots on target pretty much, but Blackburn had the, all their own way. Midfield looks non-existent, you've got uh, Bannon playing in the CDM, luckily there's another half of football for us to try and turn this around, but you're not positive, you're not very positive when you see how we play at times and how this game had gone for us so far uh, but we just sat back sat back and let them come forward and it needs to change this needs to change quickly or we are going to get sucked into this uh, bottom three and have a relegation fight for the rest of the season and right now we just don't look like a team we're confident we don't look like a team that know where it's going the middle of midfield is nothing there we miss someone like Hutchinson who can just get the ball, put it and stand on it. We miss the likes of Lee in that kind of similar position as well. We've not recruited in those kind of areas. Uh, Palaposi had gameway good, uh, really good, or he had gameway non-existent. He don't know he's there. And it's another one for him where he's non-existent. We need to pull our fingers out of that second half and try and get an equaliser at least. It's another game where we've gone behind again and we need to stop doing this because if we keep giving teams that kind of run, it's going to be ridiculous. We're already on minus 11 goal difference and we, as a team, do not look like a team that's positive or comfortable with doing stuff. So we need to get all three points in this game, but it's going to be t difficult in that second half. So, it's another game where we lose by four goals. Uh, we do score two, 
but we lose by four goals and it's a massive issue. We leak and leak and leak goals. Uh, Graham got a hat-trick today. 33-year-old Danny Graham gets a hat-trick. Uh, Jao scored a screamer of the goal. It was a fantastic goal, I've got to admit, but it just papers over more cracks. And Bannon went to get the goal, but it looked like he came off the keeper la to get that. But what awful about it, it's just so easy for team to break down our defence and get at us and get just how they want to be. Now, interesting one for you here. We are in 16th place. Carlos got walked away when we were in 15th, i.e. when he said that it was by mutual, dis by mutual effect. Carlos left while in 15th, it's a point worse than, it's a position worse than we were with Carlos. I had this situation at the minute where I'm really, really torn. It's hard for him to get things going in terms of with all the injuries, but he's known this since he got there. He'd known this since day one since he got there that this team is injury ridden. He couldn't do anything in the summer, what he wanted to do probably. Uh, he's apparently talked about transfers for players in January and it's this bit of the minute where it's like do you really think it's a good idea for him to really be given that? We're in a form where most managers would have got sacked by now. Most managers would have got sacked by now and I don't know if this is foolish by chance here, which I think so, or him just trying to see if he can ride it out. We are in big, big trouble. And to top it all off, it looks like Forstieri came off with a hamstring injury, which is another thing we don't need uh, when he just got back. And if he's going to be out again for more time, it just goes to show you that we have got big problems at the club in terms of either A, our fitness, B, with how we get players G'd up the game because they just come out looking like they're not bothered. And... See, when we scored that goal, the G and the fans up. The fans didn't need G and up. You did, as players. You should have had that kind of wanting to do it as soon as you came out. And it doesn't seem like it's there. We were dreadful today. Absolutely dreadful yet again. It's another game where we conceded four goals. We, I think we've got minus 11, minus 12. It's something like that. We've got one of the worst goal difference around. Uh, I think it's only Ipswich and I believe it's Hull who, no, it's Ipswich and Bolton who have got a worse goal record than we've got. It is dreadful. If we are not careful, we are going to get sucked into this relegation battle due to the fact we cannot defend, we cannot keep clean sheets and we don't go. We have gone backwards since uh, things has happened. Uh, since there were two great seasons where we nearly got up, Fantastic. The third and the fourth season are now starting to seem like really bad situation for us. And like he said in that thing, uh, the player, uh, the chairman's like meet the fans kind of thing to ask, ask questions and answer them. He said, if we don't go up this year, we're in trouble. Now, there were rumours last week that we were approached to be bought by Red Bull. Now, he's either going to have to have a lot of pride and help dig us out of this and fat get some people who know football around him because the people he's got at the minute don't know football very well who have advised him. We need to get this sorted ASAP or we are going to be in big, big trouble. Well, grab that. We're already in big trouble. We are in a situation where we could keep plummeting. This form is sacking form and if he can't be bothered to do it, Joff may just date until the inevitable does happen uh, or he uh, decides I, he can't take it any further. Something needs to change at this club soon because we are struggling and it shows. Don't forget to go to outtalk.co.uk after this video.